Unreal Engine is well known for being able to render amazing photorealistic graphics, to the point where it's become synonymous with a high-end AAA look. But what many people forget about is that Unreal Engine is an overall amazing toolkit for making games, no matter what graphic style you're going for. And when you search for 2D games made with Unreal Engine online, the answer you usually get is that they don't exist. However, if you do some digging, you'll realize that this is pretty far from the truth. In this video, I'll introduce all the Unreal Engine 2D games I know about. Some of these games mix 2D character sprites with 3D backgrounds, while other titles strictly use 2D art. Either way, they can take advantage of Unreal Engine's lighting system, particle effects and post-processing to create a unique look that is hard to achieve with other engines. The publisher which had the most success with a 2D 3D hybrid approach so far is Square Enix. When they partnered up with Acquire Corp to create Octopath Traveler, they wanted to combine the nostalgic pixel art of Super Nintendo games with the modern lighting and post-processing technology of Unreal Engine 4. Even though this was a completely new IP, the game went on to sell more than 3 million units to date. There's even a speech from Unreal Fest 2019 on the Unreal Engine YouTube channel where the lead artist Mika Izuka talks about how they went about the development and achieved this unique look which they later on dubbed HD 2D. After the success of Octopath Traveler, Square Enix went on to use the HD 2D art style for 4 more games, which I'll talk about in more detail near the end of the video. But first, I want to show you how some indie game studios used Unreal Engine to create 2D games in a different art style. The Siege and the Sandfox is a 2D stealth metroidvania currently being developed by Cardboard Sword. The design director Chris Wilson held an amazing speech at Unreal Fest 2019, which goes into a lot of details about the obstacles they had to overcome when making this game. Their goal was to make use of the advanced tools Unreal Engine gives them, but still keep an authentic pixel art look. I especially enjoyed the section where he talks about how they created normal maps to increase the effect lighting has on the pixel art to make it look richer. His videos were actually a big factor in pushing me to start making my own 2D and 2D 3D hybrid games. And in case you're new here, I often make tutorials about creating 2D games with Unreal Engine 5, so please subscribe and check out my other videos if that sounds interesting to you. The next game I want to talk about is The Vagrant by OTK Games. It's a 2D action RPG inspired by vanillaware titles such as Odin Sphere and Dragon's Crown. I would have never guessed that this game uses Unreal Engine since it doesn't use any of the features you'd usually associate with it and everything is made with beautiful hand-painted art. I directly reached out to their team leader, Ken Lin, who was happy to tell me about how they created this game and also the workflow for their upcoming title. For the main character they went with traditional frame-by-frame hand-drawn animations that were then imported into Unreal Engine and used through Paper 2D. For NPCs, they used a bone-based approach and a program called Creature to animate the characters and export them to sprite sheets. Currently, OTK Games is working on their second game, Detained Too Good for School, which is set to release in 2023. This title is more like a side-scrolling beat-em-up and takes place in a mini open world similarly to River City Girls. This time around, all of the characters are using a bone-based approach through a software called Spine. Spine has a runtime available for Unreal Engine, so the animations can be played directly in the engine without the need to export them into a sprite sheet, which I imagine made the development a lot smoother. He also mentioned that they made heavy use of the gameplay ability system, which is a framework from Epic Games that makes it easier to create special moves and combat interactions. Lost Fragments is a puzzle platformer in which you can move between memories and reality to change the shape of fragments in the past. This game is being developed by Critical Failure Studio, who you might already be familiar with through their work on the amazing and free Unreal Engine plugin, Paper ZD. Paper ZD makes working with 2D sprites a lot easier by adding support for animation blueprints, anim notifies and much more, and I actually made a tutorial about how to use it a while ago, which you can check out here. Backbone is a post-noir narrative adventure that makes use of Unreal Engine's dynamic lighting and PBR rendering. The gameplay mostly focuses on storytelling and dialogue. At the Unreal Indie Dev Days 2019, the developer Agnat held a speech that goes pretty deep into technical details and the techniques they used to make Backbone come to life. Unbound Worlds Apart is a hand-drawn puzzle platformer in which you can open portals to manipulate time, inverse gravity and affect other properties of the world around you. Born of Bread is an RPG with turn-based combat similarly to the Paper Mario series. It uses sprite-based flat characters and a world that mixes 3D and 2D elements. Chronicles of Two Heroes is an intense 16-bit action platform inspired by masterpieces like The Messenger and Ninja Gaiden on the NES. I also want to give a shout out to smaller scale minigames and game jam projects. If you go to itch.io and set the filter to Unreal Engine and 2D, you'll actually find more than 300 titles. The majority of these look unfinished and not very polished, but there are a few cool ones I want to highlight. In Shotgun Wedding, you use your gun to defeat your foes and the recoil of your gun to traverse the 3D environment. 
and Tough Fluff is an awesome run and gun shooter made by fellow YouTuber Rocky Mullet. In 2022, Square Enix followed up on the HD2D style that Octopath Traveler established with trying a strategy. This time around they didn't over rely on post processing effects such as depth of field and bloom which made for a much crisper look. The combat is also quite different and more akin to a tactics RPG. In the same year they released Live Alive exclusively on the Nintendo Switch. This is actually a remake of the 1994 classic which was originally released on the Super Nintendo. What sets this game apart is that it features 7 self-contained stories that take place in completely different settings and feature different characters. Currently they're working on Octopath Traveler 2 which is set to release in February 2023 and they set a pretty high bar for themselves. There is an interesting Nintendo Life article which mentions that this time around they want to expand the scope and aim for something they call Super HD 2D. The last game I need to mention is Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D Remake. About a year ago they dropped an announcement trailer that has received more than 4 million views to date. So it's safe to say that fans are really looking forward to this remake. But there haven't really been any updates ever since and we still haven't gotten a release date. So that was my list of all the 2D games made in Unreal Engine that I know about. If there are some noteworthy ones I forgot about, please let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed the video and will give making 2D games in Unreal Engine 5 a try. You can check out this video to get started making 2D games. As always, thanks to my amazing patrons who continually support this channel.